Uh, hello everyone. So uh, in this demo, we'll walk through uh, Sysdig Cloud. Uh, Sysdig Cloud is a commercial service uh, from Sysdig where uh, you know we can monitor not just one host but like a whole collection of hosts along with their containers in one central location. Uh, so this either can be done by using the Sysdig uh, you know cloud servers or it can be installed as an uh, on-premise application as well. Um, so this has much more you know capabilities than you know Sysdig and CSysdig because you know we are able to monitor it as a central location so we can do a lot of grouping uh, not just at the individual host level but across the cluster. Uh, for this particular uh, case, uh, I have uh, used uh, the Sysdig Cloud on a you know 14-day trial period. So for this particular demo, uh, so that is uh, so I am going to use the trial version uh, to demonstrate this. Uh, so we will take uh, so in this particular uh, you know demo, I will mainly walk through the uh, Kubernetes and Sysdig Cloud integration. Uh, because that is one thing that we it is uh, you know difficult to do in a Sysdig or a CSysdig because you know we are able to do monitoring at the host level and when we do Kubernetes you know we kind of operate at the cluster level and uh, Sysdig cloud has some constructs where we can uh, you know we can you know look at things at the the complete cluster uh, when we do the monitoring. So this is the uh, you know the demo guest book application that we will use uh, to demonstrate some of the capabilities. So here, uh, uh, basically it has, uh, you know, three uh, replication controllers, one for the front end and uh, second for the Redis master and the third for the Redis slave. And uh, so the front end replication controller has three parts, the master, Redis master has one part and the Redis slave has two parts. And uh, the front end servers will access the Redis master and the slave. Uh, so th the first step uh, to create this uh, would be like in my case I have used AWS uh, to create this uh, you know uh, uh, the Kubernetes cluster. So after I created this uh, Kubernetes cluster you know this is a set of commands that I have executed uh, to create the uh, guestbook application. So basically we create the three controllers and then uh, you know we create the three uh, services associated with it. So if we uh, go back to my uh, Linux machine from where I can access the uh, the front end. So th this is uh, basically I have a set of containers in my host node. Uh, so let's first look at you know what is the uh, you know the the replication controllers that are running. So here we can see the three replication controllers, and these are running in the AWS nodes because once we run the kubeup script it will automatically configure to access the uh, the AWS nodes. Uh, and then if we look at the services, uh, we can, you know, see the uh, the Redis master slave as well as the front end. And this is the, uh, the Kubernetes system service itself. And uh, we can look at the pods that are running currently. And here we can see uh, the three front end, one master, and the uh, two Redis slaves here. Um, so here I have the the three uh, Kubernetes, uh, not Kubernetes. Th th this is the three uh, AWS VMs that I am uh, running here. So the first step I have to do is install the Sysdig Cloud Agent uh, in each of these uh, AWS nodes, which allows the Sysdig Cloud to monitor these nodes. So in my case, what I have done is I have installed it in the three AWS nodes nodes. Uh, as well as I have installed in my host machine so that uh, Sysdig Cloud can monitor AWS nodes as well as my uh, host machine. So here uh, we can see, you know, so this is the master node and, you know, it has a whole bunch of containers uh, that are running. So now I have, uh, I'm in the Sysdig uh, Cloud uh, SaaS application, so I have logged in as me. And so this is the, the, the f main front page here. Uh, where, uh, you know, we show that, you know, there are four hosts, three are the uh, AWS VMs and uh, one is my Linux host itself. And then it shows the containers, the container images, you know, I have kind of grouped into namespaces. Those are the three groups it shows here. And uh, when you want to, uh, you know, add your cloud providers or agents, you know, you can use this tab here. 
uh, so let's the main tab that we are mostly interested is in the explore tab here and uh, here there is a bunch of uh, you know nice uh, groupings that uh, sysdict cloud already provides so let's use the simpler one which is you know a node based view here so if you look here uh, so basically there are these two uh, minion nodes one kubernetes master and this is my uh, you know th this is my uh, the uh, the linux machine so here i can see my the containers that is running in my linux machine and here inside the uh, the master node i can see the you know what are the containers running and inside them each of the minions i can see what the container is running and uh, the the nice thing that sysd cloud provides is once i can select a single node here i can pretty much uh, have a much more visibility into all the things that are happening in the node uh, starting from let's say I want to look at the network connections I can see all of the network connections that are happening in the particular node that I have selected uh, so let's say that I want to look at overview by the containers uh, so it shows you know all the containers in terms of the, what is the CPU memory usage uh, that is at on that particular node at the container level uh, we can look at the top processes that are uh, in that particular node uh, with the container visibility and then we can look at the CPU usage so this is, is this gives a nice you know uh, uh, nice uh, GUI based view of looking at what is happening within uh, the single node so this has you know we can zoom in and get like a good level of detail here uh, the only problem with this approach is in terms of you know uh, the number of things that is happening like in this particular view because there are a lot of containers that are running it is very difficult to kind of make inf uh, sense out of it because we don't have any Kubernetes uh, visibility here uh, and okay so I'll come to you know how do we get the Kubernetes visibility and this is the network traffic so you know I can kind of look at you know very deep down into what is happening at the node level at the container level you know what is the traffic that is you know going in and out the kubernetes view that i like most is this grouping that uh, sysd cloud by default provides so basically this is basically uh, the ta uh, the grouping is done at the high level at namespace next is the replication controller next is the pod and the last is the container so this is pretty much the kubernetes construct and the way sysd cloud gets this information is by querying the kubernetes api server and then it correlates with the information that is collected from the each individual kubernetes nodes so that is why we need to install the agents on each of the kubernetes nodes and uh, the other part is you know sysd cloud talks directly to the kubernetes api server so here we can see three namespaces the cube system which is the uh, the kubernetes system namespace and here default which is the namespace for my uh, guestbook application so 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 now let's say that i have selected the default uh, namespace here if i go to the cpu usage now this is going to give me visibility at the particular uh, you know at this particular namespace itself so for example if I first level of zoom in it's going to tell me that you know there are three replication controllers there is a Redis slave master and front end so now let's say I s zoom this here so it says three uh, you know uh, pods are present here and then two are here and three here so now let's say that I zoom in further so here I can see that you know there are two Redis slaves uh, one master and three front end. So now let's say if I zoom in further, I can uh, you know see what is the uh, you know container that is running. So I can even look at what are the processes that are running. So basically, this the advantage with this approach is uh, this is giving me information only at this guestbook namespace. Uh, so we can you know choose what we exactly want to see say for example if I look at the container overview so I'm going to see uh, you know the containers that are running in this particular uh, namespace same for if I look at the uh, you know the process level view I can see you know all the things that are happening at that particular uh, container level so this uh, this I feel is like you know very good integration of you know Kubernetes with containers 
and with monitoring uh, thanks for watching